Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to write a Python script to get some useful information from our Raspberry Pi. This useful information will contain, um, let's say, the CPU usage, the RAM information, the disk usage, CPU temperature, uh, and the network status. So let's get started. Now you can write your own Python script to get the useful information from the Raspberry Pi, but that might take a bit of a time. So to save time, we can use Pi Embedded Python library. Now this library has a module for Raspberry Pi, which gives us some useful information about RAM, disk, disk space, CPU, and the Wi-Fi status. So we are going to use Pi Embedded Python module to get all the data. Now I have already connected my Raspberry Pi via VNC and I'll simply start by installing the module. So I'll write pip3 install pi embedded. Now I have already installed this, but you can install it via this command. Now I'm going to create a new file in Thony Python IDE. You can use any other IDE if you want. And let's first save this file. Let's name it as, as health. Now we can simply import our Python. Now we can simply import our Python uh, Pi embedded module. So from Pi embedded dot Raspberry Pi dot Raspberry Pi import Pi. Now, first of all, let's simply extract, uh, let's say the RAM, the disk, and the CPU usage. So for that, I'll simply write pi dot get RAM info. Let's also print let's also print the disk status, disk space. And let's also print the CPU usage. Now let's try to run this code. Okay, we have a small bug here. Now here we can see that it is giving us the RAM information. So the RAM information is 948 MBs, which is close to 1 GB. So I'm using the 1 GB model out of which 179 uh, MBs of the RAM is getting used and 467 uh, around this much RAM is freely available. In the disk space, so I'm using a 64 GB card. That's why it's showing me the total disk space of 59 GB out of which I have used 3 GBs. Remaining is 54 GB and the total uh, total used G, uh, disk is 6%. Now this is also giving me the CPU usage which is around 22% because I'm, we are not doing any heavy inferencing that's why it's not uh, it's low and it's not very high. Now let's also get the IP address so after that I'll simply type print pi.get connected IP address now inside this we need to mention which network interface we want to get the IP. So for that we are currently connected to Wi-Fi. So I will simply type WLAN 0. But if you are connected to let's say Ethernet so you can mention ETH0 Ethernet here. I will close this and uh, let's also print the Wi-Fi status. So for that I will type get Wi-Fi status. So Wi-Fi status gives us the signal quality and the signal level of the um, of the of the Wi-Fi so let's run this code now here you can see that it has given us the IP address and it has shown us the Wi-Fi status as well so this is the status this is the SSID we are connected to this is the signal quality 
this is the signal level so out of 70 we are at 53 percent so that's good and the total this is the wi-fi percentage so uh, i mean it's the coverage so we are 75 percent uh wi-fi percentage is 75 percent that means we are closer to our router so in this way we can use pi embedded python library to get some useful information and this is kind of like a health information health data of the raspberry pi we can use it in our different different projects and so that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel